so we start the tour here in sea pooling or known as pooling um, and actually that's in someone's front garden the village sign randomly okay so we're gonna cross the road and head down to the beach obviously you can go into the village over in that direction so sea pooling is one of these places where you literally come down to the beach there's uh, a few ice cream shops some places to get a tea and coffee and that's pretty much it little shop here just to get your souvenirs to get down to the beach I have to say if you go to the beach a lot these are always really good although you'll see the beach is sand so you know if it's a rocky beach they're really good but uh, I don't think you need them too much here in sea pooling come on be honest does anyone own any crocs anymore down this road as well you'll find a few um, holiday cottages and some bed and breakfasts a lot of private lets as well and there are about I think there's two or three holiday parks as well in sea pooling so yeah as I said a couple of holiday parks here the Golden Beach Caravan Park on the left which is um, fairly small quite nice if you want to come and have a, a little holiday by the sea so parking always used to be a bit of a problem in sea pooling and they actually added another car park just further up here on the left and on a really busy day it is very difficult to get um, a parking space Another little caravan park there. Really nice houses. And again, the signs to the, uh, the coastal path, the North Norfolk coastal path, which way do you want to go? And you'll see these guys always bringing boats and jet skis down to the beach. I used to have a jet ski and uh, You'd have to pay them a little bit of money and they take them down to the beach for you. So when you want to park in Sea Pool, and there's this car park and then there's a few more down there. So yeah, as I said, a brief tour because people come here for the beach because there's not too much out here. This used to be a place that um, used to sell jet skis. Um, and I bought a jet ski from here many years ago and in fact you used to be able to rent the jet skis as well it's a shame you don't do that now I still think they rent kayaks I'm not entirely sure but now it's just a, a calf and a fish and chip shop some interesting rocks so yeah, you got a calf here. These normally sell ice creams, I think. Great place to go and get some fish and chips there. And definitely one of my favorite areas to come to get yourself a drink. If you've been uh, on the beach, this is Reef Spa. As you can see, it's literally right next to the beach. to go and for another year running it's been awarded the blue flag status for bathing quality and the beach 
but you've got to go up this big steep hill to get to it but it is definitely worth it the reason why this is here obviously for all the tractors to get the jet skis uh, the RNLI and uh, other boats and yachts into the water you can see the big blue flag beach flag there Just up here is the uh, the sea pooling independent lifeboat. But this is why people come to sea pooling. The tide's in at the moment, but um, the tide does go out quite away sometimes. But the water is really warm all thanks to these rock worms that were put in to help with the coastal flooding. Just look at this, how beautiful. You can see for miles people just walking in the distance. And obviously all these things that are sticking out are just to show you where the rock bombs are. So if there was ever anywhere you wanted to come swimming on the east coast, definitely come to sea pooling because the water temperature is so much warmer thanks to all these little bays. There are so many of them. If you keep walking and if you keep walking in this direction, there's bay after bay after bay. And at low tide, you can walk out towards those rocks and look at starfish. See, look at that, you can just see in the distance just even more of the bays just carrying on. So you can go for a really long walk. And like I say, at low tide, you can walk out towards the rocks and go and check out starfish. Obviously you have to be aware of the tides. They do come in quite quick. And obviously, because there's lots of bays here, there's lots of uh, riptide, so it's something just to be a bit careful of if you are out here swimming. But just look how beautiful this is. So you'll normally see a lot of people on jet skis all around here. There aren't any out today. There's, there's one lonely guy out there doing some kayaking. So just quickly wanted to show you this, on the road to sea pooling and then back towards Great Yarmouth you come across Horsey Mill which um, is really pretty um, and it's definitely worth having a stop here, you can have a walk around towards the broads as well. Just look how beautiful it is here. Go and get yourself a nice cup of tea there. You used to be able to walk in there, but they've closed it up because they've been doing some work to it recently. beautiful September day like this, this is just beautiful. Seeing all the different boats.
beautiful countryside as well. So obviously you can actually take some wildlife boat trips from here as well, which is pretty good. So you can see that uh, you literally go around Horsey Mere um, and it's really nice actually. Obviously there's loads of little walks that you can do and you can discover all these little old little thatch houses and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like a, a different view of the broads from what you've probably seen before. So definitely on the way to sea pooling, check out Horsey. So this map illustrates it really well. Um, you can see the Horsey wind pump there. I literally just walked down to there, but obviously you can do a much longer walk around the broad as well. Or you can do it via the wildlife boat trips. And if you do want to go and check out the seals at Horsey Beach, what you need to do, you just walk down there. Bit of a walk though. So I hope you enjoyed my tour of sea pooling and horsey wind pump. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.